Welcome back to Excel with Mark and today we're going to be looking at how we can quickly and easily create drop down lists that when we change in input data it will change colours for us making it more easy to see what we are actually working with data wise and anything that we might be falling behind on that we can then kind of pull up to date and get sorted with. Mm -hmm. So you can see here that we have a little bit of a table that will have a reporting date, a reference, a property, the issue, the priority, the deadline and is it resolved. Starting out then we're going to look at the priorities and the resolved and we're going to get this sorted on uh, whether we're going to add a couple of days onto this and then is that issue resolved. So clicking into the box here the way that we're going to do this is we're going to go up to the data tab and then from there we're going to click into data validation and dropping down like so. In the settings tab we want to make sure that we have the list selected there and then when it comes to the source part here we can click into it, click into the second part and then we're going to click down onto this here where we can see that we have the days of 1, 5 and 30. Once we've done that we're going to click off and click OK and we can see that we have a little drop down box now that gives us our days of 1, 5 and 30 so we'll just start with the 5 and then we can see that we have the resolved here so again we're just going to click into resolve, click the data validation, create the list click the source and click yes and no clicking off click OK and we can see that we have yes and no so once we get to this then we can, what we want to do now is make this so it stands out a little bit more with colour and obviously it's a little bit easier to see so we can go up to home and we can use conditional formatting for this now so highlight cell rules and we want it to be equal to and then if we just put in a simple yes for this one so if it's resolved then we'll just select just for ease the green one and if it's the no that we have that's the equal to again we'll put no but if you need to make this any kind of different colors or that we can use the custom format here and we can change the fill to say red because we haven't resolved it yet and the font will make a white color with that so you can customize that however you want making that any different color clicking ok then we can click ok and we can see from the list here if we click no that that will change the colors there so again we can change these in terms of the conditional format for the numbers so we're just going to go and uh, when I can literally see it <laughs> click that and we'll go one day is in green because we've got uh, in fact we'll do the red is in uh, so we only have one day we'll do the conditional format in for uh, the five and we'll do that as the yellow Da, 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 and then we'll do the conditional formatting for the 30 and we'll put that in the green okay so again when we have this cell we can see we have the drop down so we have the 1 in red the 5 in yellow and the 30 in green obviously we've got plenty of days to be working on the 30 so now that we have all this here and we have this set up we can see that we've got a reporting date so if we put in uh, say today's date so uh, first 2023 okay and then we stick in a reference for here so we just put in it's job number one for us and the one street and the issue that we have with this is that it's leaking okay we can see that we have the priority it's just 30 days or we can change that to five days however and then we want the deadline to be equal to the reporting date plus the priority date there we are and we can see that we have that filled out now so what we can do is we can just send them all that make it a little bit nicer where we need to do like so and what we can do at this point is then once we've selected all the data we can either go up to insert and then insert a table or we can just use the control and T which will also select it make it a little bit quicker and then we can press OK and what we can do at this point is if we press tab it'll open up the next part of the table for us so we can see this is a little bit skew with in terms of what it is and stuff like that now what's good about this is, is if we input the date like so and then we can just move across what this will do is it will input the data for us uh, call it steep I know it's wrong <laughs> roof and then for the priority now if we change the priority and say we have 30 days we can see that because we've already dropped it down it updates the date for us as well adding on 30 days from the reporting date and again we can say either reporting yes or reporting no and because we've already formatted it 
it will move that down as we need to do so again if we need to add another line on from the bottom of this we can press tab and this would just continue with add lines in for us as we need to do as we need to update our kind of sheet making our database up to date as much as we can for us and it makes it easy as well where we can see obviously the numbers and the days and everything else and we will be calculating the dates for us hopefully that helps with then if you have any questions about anything at all don't forget to stick them in the comments below and uh, any questions or anything you want to see more advanced then don't forget to give us a shout thanks for watching